Donnie weighed only 44 grams when rescued from a beach in the Western Cape two years ago. Still too young to tell Donnie six, the turtle needed many months of intensive care. Diagnosed with a metabolic bone disease, Donnie struggled to eat and dive. But Donnie proved to be a survivor and now fitted with a satellite tracking device may just, for about four to eight months, tell scientists more about the seven missing years and the life of this species. 19 little turtle hatchlings, which also washed up in the Western Cape, joined Donny for the release. The hatchlings suffered from cold and injury, were undernourished and some have ingested plastic. They were amongst 42 hatchlings sent this year by the Two Oceans Aquarium to Durban to complete their rehabilitation. So we're going to go 20 to 30 nautical miles out and as soon as we get to some warm water up the gullies, that's where we're going to release the little hatchlings. That's where they would be found um, naturally at the stage of their life. Uh, we believe they're going to be fine. Turtles are resilient animals. Um, behavior is inherent, so from previous tracking of larger animals, we know that the natural behavior and um, just kicks in. Admiral Twainy, a SAP Antarctic fur seal, was found at Winkelspreit on the KwaZulu-Natal south coast. Being underweight and with only one eye, he was nursed back to health. After two months of rehabilitation, he's reached 60 kilograms, his goal weight for release. When he washed up, he was malnourished, so extremely underweight, uh, and it was noted that his right eye was actually closed. Um, the animal was brought in, and upon further inspection um, and medical evaluation, they found that that eye had, uh, was actually um, completely damaged, uh, but it had healed, and Twenty had been managing in the wild up until now. Admiral Twinney looked keen to find his way back to familiar waters. But he has a long swim ahead of him to reach his breeding ground about 2,000 kilometers away in the southern Indian Ocean. Renee Heiner, SABC News, Durban.